everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install custom maps or Minecraft maps in Minecraft 1.14.4. Basically these are maps that you install in Minecraft that are things like adventure maps, parkour maps, custom maps in general. Let's say a YouTuber has released a map that you want to play or like you know the map that they played their survival let's play on. You can install that this way. Any map in Minecraft can be installed this way. But first we have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you are looking for an incredible, again, DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends that you don't have to port forward for, that all you need to do is literally type an IP address in Minecraft to play it, while you can still install plugins and mods and everything, all that can be done on Apex as well. Apex Minecraft Hosting is the best place to go. Check them out the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. You can even install custom maps on Apex. It's pretty awesome. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get a custom map installed in Minecraft. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually download a custom map. Now, if you already have one, you can kind of skip this step. But if you don't, this is our list of 15 custom maps for Minecraft 1.14 plus, right? So whether it's 1.14 or 1.14.4, the map will still work if you get it from this list here. And actually, we'll show you what to do is if like it's made for an older version. And we're going to do that using the Freaky Park core map here and this is actually a map that introduces some 114 elements as a parkour map but it's not for 114.4 so i'll show you what to do if that's the case so once you're here you can go ahead and click this green download button it's going to take us off to this website here where we want to scroll down and click on the download minecraft map button right there once we click on that it will go ahead and download freaky parkour in the bottom left it may take you off to ad fly if it does no worries just click the skip ad button in the top right that skip ad button in the top right Click on that and then you'll be able to get the download. It should be a .zip file and it should have the name of your map in it in some way. Nevertheless, if we minimize our browser here on our desktop is our .zip file. It's freakyparkour.zip. If it's not on your desktop, no worries. Get the little Windows icon it's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and then type in downloads right like so. You have a downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and you'll find Freaky Parkour in your downloads folder here. Drag it to your desktop for ease of use. Now, once it's on your desktop, you want to right click on it and then you want to click on extract all. It'll then go ahead and bring this like confirmation window up and just click extract down in the bottom right of that window. Now it's going to open up a folder and it also created a folder on your desktop here. So go ahead, open that folder on your desktop, right? And that's the same folder it opened automatically. And then you should have a name of your map, right? And so go ahead and click on that and then click some more until you see this advancements, data, data packs, dim one, dim dash one, all that stuff. It should have some of this. It should have a level dot dat if nothing else, but it should have most of this stuff here, right? It might not have all of it, but it should have most of it, and it should pretty much definitely have a level dot dat. So go ahead and make sure that is there. And if it is, go ahead and click the back arrow in the top left up here. Now, if you can't click the back arrow, that's fine. Just go ahead and close out of this folder. But if you can click this back arrow in the top left, do it. So we click on that. We have freaky parkour here. We want to take this folder and drag it to our desktop. Now, once that's on our desktop, we can delete this other folder we extracted as well as the folder we downloaded. So we can delete both of those. Now we just have the one we dragged to the desktop on our desktop. Go ahead and double click on that and it should immediately see all of this stuff. Our level.dat, dim1, dim-1, data pack, all of that should be there. It might not be all of it, but some of it will be there, right? You'll see these files. And if you do, you're ready to go ahead and get your map installed. To do that, go ahead and click on, again on that Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. It's in the bottom left for you though, that little Windows icon. Click on that and then type in run, R-U-N, right like so. You'll have the run desktop app here click on that and then in the run desktop app type percent sign app data percent sign percent app data percent and hit enter we'll go ahead and open up our roaming folder here where you should have a dot minecraft folder see that go ahead and open that dot minecraft folder and then in here you'll have a saves folder see that saves folder double click on the saves folder then all you need to do to install freaky parkour is drag and drop freaky parkour or whatever map you have right whatever it is into your saves folder boom done now again just to double check open up the map you installed when you do that it should again have data packs it should have some of this right especially a level dot dat dim one dimension should have some of that stuff and if it does you're good to go if you have to click another folder to get to it it will not work it should have this stuff as soon as you open the folder inside of saves now all we need to do is open up minecraft 114.4 so let's go ahead and open up the launcher here we can see we own 114.4 and click play while minecraft's opening i want to remind you about our grief protected minecraft survival server we've got a player based economy survival server and a slash shop based economy server we've also got custom skyblog with over 100 players online every single day 
Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. It is an incredible server. If you're looking for the best survival server in the multiverse, the best skyblock server in the multiverse, we've got both to so come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this hideous texture pack off. It's cool for our tutorial, but it's not really my style. But now we can go ahead and jump into single player. And if we scroll down here, we'll see. Freaky Parkour. There it is. Now, one thing you may notice is it says for version 19W14A. Huh? That is a Minecraft snapshot for 114. Same thing, snapshots will work in 114.4 as long as it was a 114 snapshot. So that's why that's the thing. But this is a perfect example because if we double click on this map, it's going to say, Do you really want to love this world? This was last played on 19W14A. You're using 114. Don't freak out about it. Click, I know what I'm doing, and launch it on up. If it does break, if something doesn't work in game, which as long as it's like a 114 snapshot or 114, it won't do that. But nevertheless, if something goes breaking game, you can just go re-download the map. It's not a big deal. But nevertheless, once you're here, you can see Welcome to Freaky Parkour. You can see all this stuff. And if we want to get started, we can click this sign in. We are in here. This is also in 114.4 because there are some 114 blocks in here. That right there, for example. All sorts of awesome stuff. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is how you can set up a custom map, a custom Minecraft map in 114.4. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if it helped you out or if you liked it. Either one. Also, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. Again, it is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Just go into Minecraft Java, type in play.breakdowncraft.com as the IP, and join on in. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.